that's what you, that's what you do when you do experiments when you're trying to figure what out what's going on you minimize the you it. minimize the variables so you remove okay, the, you minimize the, the, you minimize the minimize variables okay yeah you, you, you minimize it, it. you don't exclude you, you don't technically fully exclude the variable of course because a vacuum is just theoretical there, there's no full exclusion but it doesn't matter well, you can, because did you control for the variable a hey, did you control for the variable? You can remove the you can, you can remove any buoyancy buoyancy effects down to minute, and and then you can disregard them. Did you control for the electrical variable? Can you fall up? Can you fall up? No, you can't fall up. That's my point. You guys don't have any explanation about why things go down. You, well, you don't have an explanation as to why things go up either. Exactly. The problem yeah. that's what you're not listening it's to. Well, do you have an explanation that points you, 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 I got one for you. When things oh, fall, they okay. fall directly vertical, right? Things do not vary in, in the direction they fall. They fall exactly uh, uh, vertical to where they're at in the air, correct? There True. is no deviation off of vertical, correct? They fall. Okay. They fall down in the absence of they wind. Fall, yes. They fall, ver they fall vertically. They don't fall down. They fall vertically. Uh, at least Dave, goes back and forth. Fine, fine vertical. Dave Whitsett. Fine vertical. Right. Everyone is they, here. They, 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 fly, they fall plumb to. They fall to plumb. They fall plumb to the location that they are in the sky. Correct. Which is well, down. Yes. Yes. Gravity. All right. Let the other guy make his point. Let the guy that makes well, his point. Like, just check it, Dave. Like, basketball. Take it to the bottom of the pool. Let it go. It falls vertically up. Exactly. What happens? It fall. It go. Everything. Any. Anything. Even with buoyancy, goes vertically up. Also, there's one direction. You've got vertical. Anything that falls up or down is vertical. Always goes in one direction, and that's true vertical. Yeah. Just like a plum bob, if you drop a plum bob, it's going to fall exactly and land exactly uh, directly vertically from where it was dropped at, right? Yeah, that's down. Why do things go down? Because they're more dense well, in the why, air. Why, why do you why do you use the word down instead of why do you use the word down instead of vertically? You're because you're because you want to exclude up what, what, because up what? dismantles his religion. <laughs> you get to well, why do things fall vertically then? Things don't fall vertically. Things you fall. Can, they, they don't fall, fall up. Things do not fall they up. Fall. Things buoyant. Wait, your religion things says they are falling up, up, though. On the globe Earth, they are falling up. No, they're not falling up. Yes, they are. The simplest answer is usually the most logical. Because on a globe Earth, say I'm on the bottom of the globe and I'm dropping something and it goes up, well, that would also be falling on an orthographic oh, of the globe. Is the, is normal. <laughs> <laughs> the only falling up here is on your okay. clown world view, right? But the truth is, things go up and down. You don't get to exclude them. You're saying, why do things go down? Well, why do things go up? Okay? They're more or less sense in the things environment, the medium that they're things in. Things don't go up. Things yeah, don't the go he up. helium balloons go up. Okay, so what is helium mate? As guys, what's the helium mate if you are so smart? Can you tell me what's, what's the composite of helium in the atomical level? Are you telling me helium balloons don't go up? Yes, it's but a... what, what, what is the composite atomical level okay, of helium? Here's my question. When, when does, no, does no, hydrogen no, 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 ever no, stop, stop going it, up? Stop it, stop it. I have asked you what is the composition. I, I don't I, I answer you. <laughs> you're trying no. to divert it away. So, no, so, no, no. so you, you, you think you're smart because you see the helium because it, it's very, very light and it's going to go up in the atmosphere. Oh, so it does what, go up. What's okay. different? Okay, what's, so it does what, go up. Yes, it's it does does going up. Fucking hell. It, okay, so go things up. go up and things go down. And it's relative but to the density of the medium that they are in. So and there is no gravity involved. Yeah. And the only reason why that... When a helium balloon goes, when a helium balloon goes up, it's not falling. Well, on the globe Earth, it's like if you're on the bottom of a globe, which you always are in in theory, right? Do you guys even understand it? You're always no, on the bottom of a ball, right? Are you always on the bottom of a ball? Yes or no? You don't understand the structures of gases. Are this you is, always is, on the bottom of a ball? Yes or no? Is no, that, is no balls, balls don't have the balls and have bottoms. So, so your you're not always no. omnidirectionality. So there's not omnidirectionality on a sphere. 
direction what, what, until you've identified that direction. Can you repeat, please? Is there oh, omnidirectionality on the sphere Earth of cartoons that you think you live What's on? Your what, 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 what is the center of the mass, uh, mate? What is the center of the mass? Uh, I asked you a question. Is there omnidirectionality no, on the just, surface of a sphere? I, I, have answered, I, I have answered to a question. Because everything is, is regarding to the center of the masses. So the answer is yes. There's omnidirectionality on the surface of a sphere. Inherently. What do you mean by, what do you mean on, by omnidirectionality? All directions. No, mate, you don't understand the vector it's center, all, the center of the masses. Yes, he does. You all guys are trying to divert away. So no, the way, no, no, I, you I, I get it. You have yet to no, fully no. think about your religion, but I'll enlighten uh, you. Like, when I was at Niagara Falls, according to the Globe Earth, Niagara Falls was also tilted backwards, upside down. That's what your religion all says. All directions. In 3D space, all directions are available. So your omnidirectionality talking about a sphere is pointless. So if, if, something, goes cube, up, in, in cube, if something goes in up, in a cube, omnidirectionality happens. On the globe, if something goes up, it's also falling. <laughs> no. You just don't get it. No, you just don't I, even get your own religion. Up is That's the problem. That you, is use, the problem you, use, you use terminologies that are not up. true, Whitson. Oh, they are true according to your religion. You're right. It no. isn't true. It's a religion. No, it's not. It's, no, it's not. You're right. It's not you true. I agree. Man. It, you don't. You don't get to straw man the position and then and then argue. No, that it. That's is the, the position. Straw man, straw you think the Earth's a sphere? It is not. Okay. And so you're sticking to the surface because of this emits power, pulling you down to the down, surface. Down. What speed? In which all speed directions do you relative to the is, center of mass. That means when you're standing on the Down surface. Down is towards the center of mass. Down is towards oh, the center of the mass. Oh my gosh. Yes. You guys don't you understand don't your own religion. No, you you misinterpret All right, let me break it down then. for you very you, simply. You Whenever, like your that. argument is that when the helium balloon goes up, it's because of buoyancy, which is, of course, also a result of gravity. That's your claim. So when Rick. something goes up, yeah, so when something goes up because of buoyancy, oh, it, it's, it's, it's because of gravity. And the vector of gravity is down well, relative to the center yes. of mass. The, the vector of gravity is down relative to the center of mass. And so up is the opposite of down. So you're going to have to say that it's going up and down well, simultaneously. No. You just don't understand your own religion. That, that a lot of... No, that's how stupid your, your belief system is, my friend. No, wait. There are a lot of things that have to be taken into account. It's, We're it's just going to only... take into account up and down right now. It's up the opposite no. of down. No, you have to take all the forces that are applied to that object. Is up the opposite of down? Mate, do you take the, all the forces that are applied to that object? No, you should, but you just exclude electrostatics. No, it's up I'm not, the opposite I'm not of down. Excluding, I'm not excluding electrostatic. Electrostatic is a charging thing that is going to be discharged, whatever is going to be dis discharged. So it's not well, going to be... Your religion excludes electrostatics. I'm going to show you a video with electrostatics if you hey, want. Can you answer? Is up opposite of down? Well, Dakota, what's the what, opposite what's, of what's, down? What's, what what is the point of your question, mate? Because up it's opposite of down. Yes, it is. Uh, but in 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 our atmosphere, in our Earth, we have gravity. We have things. We have forces that are applied to objects. Yeah, so that's what if, we're if, you, if you if you if you if you want to go, if you want to go a lot, with a lot of calculations, you have to put all the. Do you think that inside. gravity is the force that causes things to go down? Yes. Okay. So is up the opposite of down? Yes. Yes, mate. Yes. What's, what's, okay, what's, what's so the objects that go question? up is from buoyancy. That's from gravity that makes things go down. And your religion, which up, up is opposite of down, right? So buoyancy you're going to have to well claim that the you, object is going up and down simultaneously. Mate. So you don't get example, it. You don't even get no, your no, own no, belief. No, 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 mate. No, mate. So for example, the helium balloons, yeah. Are, are the, the how, how to explain it to you? All the gases that are very heavy are going down. Yeah, the helium by atomical structure is very light, and because the gases that are surrounding it is very, it's it's it's, it's creating a differential pressure is going to go up. About helium though, not the other gases. So is helium being yes, pulled by gases. gravity? He, uh, oxygen, oxygen, uh, nitrogen, and other gases that are surrounding that helium balloon. 
So is, is gonna the helium being pulled down, down by gravity? Gonna go up. What, what, what you don't understand for that? Is the helium being pulled down by gravity? Yes or no? Yes, it is. It is pulled well, down by gravity. The helium is being pulled down by gravity as it yes, goes it up, is. which means you have to claim it's going up and down simultaneously. Because you don't understand the, 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 the but atomic. You don't structure. understand it. Man, you don't understand the buoyancy. Yes, I do understand what? it. Buoyancy is a principle that law that predates put, putting little g in the equation. But your you, model says that buoyancy is a result of gravity. And when things go up, that's the opposite of the picture of gravity. You, you understand that when you put it's going helium into an evacuated it chamber, what, it gets heavier, right? It doesn't What's matter what it? you say. When you claim gravity is what causes buoyancy, when something goes up, it's also going down. Being pulled down as it goes up. That's what you have to believe. Listen, everything is going down, but because we have different structures of gases, they, they comport it differently in our atmosphere. That's, everything is going that's, down, though. The helium oh, goes up. Wait, wait, what's it? You, when you put helium into an evacuated container, the container becomes heavier because it's pushing down on the container, not because it's making the container lighter. So are you saying that the helium balloon doesn't go up? The helium balloon goes up because it's displaced by the heavier air. The same reason why when you put a ping pong ball okay, in a cup so... and you fill the cup with water, the, 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 the ping pong ball floats to the top. It's the same stupid thing. So you're having Are you saying to that say it's going up with high gravity? gravity? So you're because having water to say... will lift up the cup? So you're having to say that as things go up, they're being pulled down, correct? They have a, everything. It have a down, downward yeah, bias. The water, the water in the cup is heavier than the ping pong ball, so it displaces the ping pong ball. And uh, okay. It, yeah. Ah, thank you for making well, our argument, but we're trying to figure out if your argument's but, real. But, but, you're bringing up density. You're bringing up density of medium. That helium behaves the same way when it's in the medium of the atmosphere, which has a much denser gas. Right. You're bringing nitrogen up the density of medium, than, bro. Than that's. You're bringing up the density of the medium, though, and that's our argument. So, so then you un so you understand then that helium that is you're not, not making an gravity. argument. You're making our helium argument. is not defying gravity, and even in your in your density buoyancy uh, argument, you have no reason why it has a direction. Well. There is first no reason, all. and you have no reason why it accelerates at the same rate regardless of what it's made of. You have yeah. no reason to explain any of those things. Wow. Yeah. The Earth is flat. There's up and there's down. Oh, okay. Well, why is there a down, though? What gives it the down? Well, when I tell you the answer, you guys spiral. Well, I've heard you say it's electrostatics, right? That's yeah, everything said. that exists is electrostatic. You're, just replacing, you're replacing gravity with electrostatics. It's no, still it's not, I'm not replacing it's still gravity. I'm not replacing the... gravity with electrostatics. Electrostatics is there even if gravity's there. It's okay, just a so fact. Why are things going, well, gravity so what is just a theory that isn't down? there. <laughs> then what causes things to go down? Well, the primary rather than up is or the, the side. density relationship of that object and the medium that it's in. And so why down? Why doesn't heavier? Why doesn't denser things prefer up instead of down? Because they're more dense. Well, no, that's not an answer for the direction. More yeah, the dense, equilibrium. But, they're more dense. How do you not why understand it prefer this? Up instead of down. Why does it prefer what? down? That, that's, it's not that is the, can I jump in with that, it? Just that's not answering reinforce. the direction question. Oh, because it's denser. No, I understand it's denser, but why does the denser want to go Jake, down towards Jake, the floor and not up towards the sky? Jake, let me in for a second. So direction is density. So if you're heavy, you go down. If you're lighter, you go up. Thanks for that. So, 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 so denser things, for a completely unknown reason, prefer to go towards the floor uh, rather than the sky. Is that what you're saying? You, well, well, you don't know heavier. because you just have a theory with no evidence that doesn't even account for the much stronger presence. Oh, we've of got lots of evidence. Right? We see. We see. Wow. We I see, why you guys have to see, interrupt me. I'm not interrupting you, but you're just making a false claim. There's lots of evidence. Yeah, I didn't for make gravity. a claim before you interrupted. How do you know how false it is? Said a, you just said a profoundly false statement, would say that so no you you have a theory as to why, right? It's called gravity. It's just a theory. It has no evidence. And you also have to overlook the much stronger force known to objectively be present called electrostatics. You have to overlook that orbits are what we see when we look at all the planets and the moon. Oh, uh, look at the diversion. <laughs> this is why you guys have to... And electrostatics, me. electrostatics... If, if it's what you're true, then what we should see is that when we positively or negatively charge the items, their weights would profoundly change, and they don't. 
Mm, that's a straw man. Immediate debunk of the electrostatic. That's a straw man. Why is it? Why is it? Why why is it that? Why is it when you strongly charge an object, it doesn't become any lighter? Okay, so you want to stop interrupting? I'm responding to you. I'm not interrupting. Yeah, you said that it. What you straw man and said that that would profoundly change the weights, quote unquote. No, it would not. Electrostatics is known for a fact to be very weak, dude. You're just claiming very that weak. the reason why things go down is electrostatics, right? Uh, or is that not what you're claiming? Well, I can actually let's introduce be clear. Elect- Let's be clear. What I'm claiming is that the primary factor is the density of the object relative to the density of the medium that it's in. And we do know that everything, including the, min- the density of the medium that it's in and the object itself, is electrostatic. And if I actually introduce electrostatics to an object, I can make it go up or down relative to what I introduced to it electrostatically. So, okay. so basically, is you're electrostatics what's giving the density the direction? That's what I want. I want to be clear on this, Witsit. Is electrostatics what's causing the directionality of density wanting to go towards the floor, right? denser things to go towards the floor than towards the sky? Is it electrostatics that's giving it the direction? Well, it's objectively a factor. I asked, it's a factor. What are the other factors? The density. But the density doesn't have a direction. Density is just mass per unit volume. How does that have a direction? Well, actually, based on all of our observations, density results in direction. So it has a direction just because it has a direction. Do you agree, agree electrostatic manipulation of electrostatics can change directionality? Sure. Yeah. If you get if you get negative charges together, they want to they they, uh, uh, they repel, and if you get uh, opposite charges, they they want to uh, attract. So we agree electrostatics can alter direction, and we Absolutely. agree that electrostatic we That's agree how electric motors work, and we agree that electrostatics is present. Yeah, there's electrostatic attraction between objects. Yeah, very, very weak. It doesn't explain the force we measure with gravity. If and you it know it's very it weak, then why'd you just say it would profoundly change the weight? Because you're claiming that this is what's driving the directionality, and that's not <laughs> what we claim. We claim you it's just gravity, said not electrostatic. It changed the weight, and then you just said it was weak. How's that work? I said your explanation where the reason why things want to go a certain direction is electrostatics would mean that's what's creating the force that we call gravity. No, 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 no. See, w- gravity's claims to be way weaker than electrostatics. Anyway, so if I am going to make my claim, then I'll be the one that makes it. It's not what you make. And what I said was that the primary factor is the density of the object relative to the density of the medium, and we know that everything's electrostatics. We also know that electrostatics can manipulate the direction. So this is all objective. But you just you, you understand what they mean when they say stronger and weaker. So they don't mean that in nominal charge, terms. It doesn't. Oh, hold on a direction. second. What what what's it is missing out is when they say electrostatics is much uh, stronger than 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 gravity. That's that's we're talking about. Uh, Per unit of right, you need yeah. a huge yeah. amount of mass to create any to, to prom- create any me- measurable. Yeah. You need a huge yeah. amount of mass to make any 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 measurable, any measurable gravity. As opposed to uh, as opposed to electromagnetism, where you know a it's everywhere magnet you can put in your hand can produce a very strong attraction, right? Like a neodymium magnet we're not has talking an incredible about that. amount of strength for its size, right? We're not talking That's about what that. we're talking about when you say it's a weak force. But when you have something the size of a planet, it's going to be the overwhelming. Okay, force. cool fairy tale. You had to reify and invoke your fairy tale. So I agree. That's what you have to do. You have to say that you can't detect gravity. Of course, it's just a theory. You'll never detect it until you get way out in space on fairy tale land in Narnia, where you then invoke planets. So the it's point not is, Narnia, that in when you can look in the sky in the and see world, the planets orbiting, I'm uh, moon's orbiting planets. I'm almost done. In the real that's world, that's not Narnia. Let's be clear though. Real, uh, it's not Narnia world. when you can just look up and see it, right? It's not. You Narnia. can see lights in the sky, but you, how you can't you see Narnia it? by just looking up in the sky. No, 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 the Narnia comes in when you start bringing up masses and sizes that you made up. So what's causing? So why do we see? Why do we see? Why do we see spherical objects orbiting other spherical objects when we look above our head? Oh man, why do we see lights? Why? Why do we see that? What's I really want a real explanation. If that's this is Narnia, called, why do we see it? Why is diversion. it part of our reality? This is called diversion, right? It's so not diversion. It's directly related to this argument no, of you're this diverting density away buoyancy argument that you're because, making. Because uh, you get paid to do this. 
Right, because you're just tactically being dishonest. No, I'm not being dishonest at all. I'm asking you honest questions. You've invoked the masses because you said this is objective. You don't say if you stop interrupting me, I'll teach the whole room. That's why you have to interrupt me. So you're right. Objectively, it's ten to the thirty ninth power stronger than gravity on the smallest scale. Gravity's claim is that well, it's going to have to get way, way, way bigger before you can detect it, like out on the planetary scale. So in the real world, where we can isolate things, electrostatics manipulates direction is way stronger because it can actually be found. Gravity's still just purely theoretical and can't even be isolated in any way on the Earth on a local scale. So we know electrostatics is there, and we know that density plays a factor. And these are all objective things. And yeah, if you yeah really they can't be isolated. You, That's the Cavendish experiment, which you're just going to say it's fake for no reason, right? If, if you really want to unpack what's happening in the, in the sky, um, when when have you been able to verify that what's happening in the sky is the same physics that's what's happening on the Earth? So it's called got, uniformity of nature. It's it's and it's never physical, been violated. You've got physical wow. objects. We have, on, no, uh, we have no evidence of uniformity of nature ever, been, ever being everything, violated. Everything on Earth has a weight. You can weigh every single thing on Earth, even a USB stick. You can also weigh the of nature helped us out, man. Just right? be, that's so, one of the great so, evidence. Let, let me, let me let 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 be clear here. Listen, so oh, electrostatics is not, the, is not the only reason why funny mute me, dense man. things want to be towards the floor. You're saying that there's some property in, hey, let, in, let in, in, finish, in objects that have density that makes them want to go towards the floor. That's different than just their mass per unit. Uh, okay. uh, Aren't wait, you one of the people uh, in here that uh, brag about their volume. credentials a lot? Or is that not Even, you? Even the even the globe. Well, not, I've never talked about any credentials. I'm not educated. Okay, because you're not. I don't, I don't even have a high school diploma. Because you, okay, I didn't I even that. finish. I dropped out of eighth grade because I got my I got my girlfriend pregnant. Uh, I believe you because you're you're very unprofessional. But listen, He's trolling you and that's funny. Listen, I know. Even a, yeah, even nobody's a expected to be professional here. Just saying. Well, people with, people with any type of intellect and respect would be professional in an exchange. They wouldn't have to tactically be dishonest. With oh, wait a you call us little gamma bitches. How is that professional? Yeah, You're yeah, every, you I constantly before. call us little gamma bitches. Yeah. Are you that professional? Here? You're right, because the professional thing would be to leave. <laughs> well, even well go car, ahead. Leave, professional. Even a car has weight. Okay, and, and when you put a car in space, it doesn't make sense. Because the car's heavy. So whatever's happening in the upper atmosphere, you've got a good chance that those luminaries what you observe are, are not physical objects. Have you ever thought about that? Merle, Merle the problem with, with this whole idea of like... Uh, uh, can Vincent, answer. Shocker. Sorting, yeah, I am going to answer right now if you just shut your mouth. Whips. Have you ever considered the question he asked you? Have you ever considered that they're not? Yes. I, okay, I, cool. Go ahead. I have considered it, yeah. All right, so go ahead. The, pro the problem with this density-based sorting idea is that there's no preferred direction. So why wouldn't every – since since the density-based sorting is now all – you know, the lightest stuff is up top and the and the uh, what we call down, the, the heavier stuff is down, why is there a down? Like why wouldn't all that just start like sorting itself the opposite direction? Well, down is where the weight is. With so that's gravity. That that is the gravity weight. No, no, dude. Yes, yes. No, in the you're you're, you're the invoking. Word. You're invoking. Right. You have you have to have a preferred direction first for the density based sorting to happen. What's causing that preferred direction? That's what we call the gravity. Weight. The weight. Okay, that weight doesn't actually cause a preferred direction. It does. It does. No, it doesn't. It I can take a density oh, tower man. and stick it and stick it in a centrifugal, you know, it's a, some sort of centrifugal machine that spins it around, right? Centrifuge, and it will sort in a different direction because we've created a preferred direction, right? We, that preferred direction is to the outside of the container whenever you're spinning the container. So the heavy sort, the density will based go... sort, the density based sorting will go out towards the walls of that thing instead of down towards the ground. Brian, let me say one last thing, then you jump in. Well, there, there is a real experiment, soundly, of a balloon, half air, half helium. It equal, it equalizes, it hovers. Yeah. Okay. So, it just stays there in space. Again, what's is, so again? Again, what's uh, giving you the preferred direction? 
It's like, why mass. is down? Why is down down? Fuck's sake! Because it's the density mass. based sort, the density based sorting does not produce a preferred direction. That's not, well, see, that's not you're asking there has to why be, there has down, to be, and it's no, simpler there has on to a be, platter. There has to be a preferred. Bird. It doesn't really matter. There has to be a preferred direction first for the density based sorting. You're asking curve. us why there's up and down, but it's much simpler on a flat Earth than a globe Earth. On the flat Earth, there's up okay. and there's down. That's completely that's where we irrelevant. Live, and the Earth that's is the bottom. Irrelevant. The Earth is the bottom of everything that's complete, that exists. That's completely irrelevant to the question. And I'm even just looking right at now. a magnetic field, there's a dielectric plane that's where that. Obviously, Witsit can't answer the question, so he. Yeah, you know, I can. I can. You're not understanding. Else, no, no, I, I understand already completely. The question. I understand okay. completely. I understand so what well that I'm asking you a situation? question. I'm how did, how, how did I explain the that phenomenon? That you can't answer. And that's how why I explain you have to divert. I just, okay, did you hear my answer about electrostatics? What's my answer to electrostatics? What, what, what's my explanation about it? How does it not for, answer it? For any okay, so I'm not diverting from anything, but Okay, sure everything are. everything is intrinsically electrostatic. Listen, listen carefully, my man. Everything that exists is intrinsically electrostatic. When you manipulate electrostatics, you can change directionality, both objective things. We know for a fact that the density of the object relative to the density of the medium it's in is a primary factor, and that everything that happens in that situation is also electrostatic in nature, intrinsically. So you're you invoking an outside force to, no, to that's objective. produce... You're, okay, you're invoking some outside force. In, in your case, it's not gravity. It's some sort of electric, uh, electrostatic force. That's causing no. They're and they're tied together. They're tied together. Like you want to separate them and tell me I have to pick a certain little causal agent because you have done this with your fairy tale of gravity and you only did this Dude, to explain how you could stick around and all the rest of the This is what you have to interrupt me every time. You have to interrupt me every it's time. It's completely about this irrelevant. Your religion. The, the and point, it never interrupts. The point that I'm making here is that you are now invoking. You're doing. A, you're actually agreeing with me now that there has to be an outside force to produce. This no. density-based sorting. Yes, that's what you just did because you no. just invoked an outside force. Uh, all I'm no, actually, all I said was that we know for a fact it's not about what I'm invoking. I'm addressing the facts that you're running away from. We know for a I'm fact. I'm not running away from anything. You're agreeing with a, me right now. We know for a fact that it's Thanks there. Thanks for proving my point, we, Winston. We know for, no, no, no. We know for a fact that it's there. To not address that it's there is dishonest, and to pretend it has no role is dishonest. What, right? What's so, it like to actually destroy yourself in a conversation? Imagine like, being this to guy. To actually agree, guy so with, agree with your opponent and not even know it. What's it like? No, you you think that I'm agreeing with you, but it's because you, you have are. to You are. You're just invoking. There's an outside another, force to produce density-based sorting. Wrong. That's called a straw man fallacy. That's not a straw right. man. That's what you just did. Is, no, there a, I, is, there, is there an electrostatic force that causes a preferred direction? Yes or no? I didn't say that. Did I? No, I didn't say that. So okay. shut the shut it up and let me actually say what I'm saying, Mr. Schwartz. I know what you're saying. Go ahead. Say it. Okay, you're like a five-year-old. So everything is intrinsically electrostatic. We know that with the manipulation of electrostatics, you can alter direction. Okay, we also know that a primary factor of direction is the density of the object relative to the density of the medium that it's in. And this object and this medium are both intrinsically electrostatic, which can also affect directionality. So to have the intellectually honest, verifiable, empirical position, we know electrostatics is present. We do know it can affect direction. And we know that density also affects direction as primary factor. This is an objective recollection. You've made an additional fairy tale claim about gravity to explain how you can be on all directions of a ball, but you no. haven't even isolated it. It's just a theory. No, what I claimed is that there has to be a preferential direction produced by an outside force, which you just agreed with me again by saying, we know that electrostatics can change direction. Changing direction is an outside force. That's that's what acceleration okay, so you, is. Okay, so you agree <laughs> that you, so you agree. By that definition, that's what acceleration so is. But no, no, I'm saying it's. I don't it's agree there. that it's that. I don't agree that it's the force you're invoking. But do you, do you I, agree? I do it's agree there? that it requires the point that I was making, which is that there were, there must be an outside force no, that no, causes no, density based. So, no, it's it, it 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 over and over, over again. You're why saying is it that whenever electrostatics, well, you said electrostatics can change direction, dude. That is the definition. Changing direction is the definition of acceleration. You're saying exactly what I'm saying in different words. Well, all I'm saying is that I'm making the honest recollection of it, right? So you're saying that it's needed. I'm saying, well, what we know is that it's there. If you want to say it's needed because it's there, wow, you're such an intellectual giant. You're eons ahead of
to this conversation, bro. I don't even know how to keep up. You're the one I that's said that it's there. That that's what I said that it's sorted. there. No, 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 no. If you're what okay, I, if you're not claiming that, then my question remains open. What calls? No, what I'm doing is direction? I'm addressing the phenomena accurately, and you're trying to strawman the conversation. I'm not so strawmanning anything. What happens is things go up or things go down on this flat Earth that is the bottom of everything. There's up and there's down. Density Why? of the objects relative to the because that's where we live on the Earth that no, has that is the not bottom. Saying that's where we live. Why is there a down? Why is there a down? There's up there and down relative to every. There's up and down relative to every plane that exists Why? ever. What mechanism causes downness? It, it, well, because there's just an up and there's a down if there's a plane. Just an up and down. So you have no mechanism to explain this preferred direction. Well, we there can't is address a preferred direction. You're observing that there's a preferred direction. No, there's not. Some things not go up. Explaining. Some things go. Some things go up though. Yes. Less okay. things go up. Correct. Okay, so that goes in the basket of density of objects relative to density of medium or effects and direction. That's part of my claim that you're trying to straw man like a five year old. You, you're going to act like you model, have our model more predicts evidence or something. Our model predicts no, we have a better explanation as to why. No, no, I'm direction. addressing what you have no evidence of your explanation. Sure I'm addressing we do. physical. No, you, I have physical have plenty evidence. of evidence. Okay, can you, can, well, can, you, can you control electrostatics on the local scale and isolate gravity? Yes or no? Can you isolate gravity? Sure, you can isolate what? gravity. So you can isolate gravity by controlling the variable of electrostatics what, what on, the, about, on the local scale. What, you can. What about, yeah, you you can put what, put things that don't have electrostatic charge in there and, and isolate gravity. Yes. What things don't have electrostatic charge? What about charge? the energy that it takes to stop? What, what about the, Dave? Chill, man. Chill, what man. About the energy it takes to lift something for it to be able to fall. Things don't. Just, yeah, you're roboting. Dude, what what exists that isn't electrostatic? Since that's what you just said. Which it? That's dial up, Dave. He's on a dial up. Hey, other guy needs to answer my question. He said you can put an object that's not electrostatic. What object would that be? If gravity emanates from the Earth in every square millimeter, wouldn't we weigh more lying down, showing? This is where you have to try to save him. You no, know, electrostatics is very weak. Even though on the smallest scale, even though it's very weak, it's still 10 to the 39th power stronger than gravity even claims to be. You lose. The Earth's not a ball, guys. Suck it up. You live on the dielectric plane within a magnetic field. Objectively, here's the magnetic fl the flux of the Earth over top of the, the flat Earth. Right? We're not allowed to go to the center or the outside privately. We know things go up and down relative to electrostatics and relative to the density of the object, relative to the density of the medium. And we have numerous empirical pieces of evidence that show us this. There is no empirical evidence for gravity, but it has to exist because we, quote unquote, know the Earth's a ball, and it has to be there. Well, no, the Earth's not a ball. So you have, I've solved the problem for you guys. Thank me later. You no longer have to come up with that explanation that doesn't exist. It's just a theory. It can't be proven at all or isolated or seen ever because it's not needed anymore. Welcome to Flat Earth. Thank you. Congratulations, you managed to say uh, so much stuff, but at the same time say nothing at the exact same time. That'll make the earth a ball, man. I'm so trying I want to get back I'm, to I'm, something I'm to follow... said earlier, which was that uh, helium is not affected by gravity. We do know that helium has weight, right? Well, what I actually said was you have to simultaneously claim that helium is going up while being pulled down by gravity. Does helium yeah, because the air is hold on a second because the air is going down around the helium pushing the helium up so you do have to simultaneously claim that as the helium balloon goes up it's also being pulled down <laughs> it has a force on it pulling it down yes yeah. but the force is more on the air it's pulling the air down enough to push the balloon up <clears throat> okay um so that's a claim assuming gravity is there Right. And that's your problem. You don't the realize only, that you do that. The only claim I make is that helium has weight. Do you disagree with that claim? What is weight? Do you disagree with the claim that helium has weight, yes or no? No, but I disagree with your definition of weight. Why? Because gravitas, that means weight. You say weight equals mg, and then g is this little magical force that we can't isolate or prove, and it's just a theory, but it's pulling things down while they're going up. The opposite of that. Here's a, here's a better question. What's the question? What's the density of helium? Would that be a better question for you to answer? Or uh, I don't need to answer the question.
questions. You guys need to realize you're claiming that the helium's going up, but simultaneously being pulled down. Do, That's all do I want you, you to think, address. When you laugh, then I'll make the next point. Then, then we'll go. Thanks, guys, for finally being honest and acknowledging that. In your religion, you acknowledge earlier. You acknowledge the ping pong ball in a cup. You acknowledge. You you acknowledge buoyancy. You're getting, you sound triggered, man. That the Earth's not a ball. I'm, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. You were lied to about the Earth. I was lied to about the Earth, brother. Okay, like we were all lied to about the Earth. I'm letting you guys. You not acknowledge. It's time to let it go. Let it go. What's the density level of helium? Uh, where's gravity at? Well, our argument is density level of helium. No, our argument is that the density affects it, though. But, but what's it? Do you not, did you not just agree earlier yeah, that, that, that a yeah, ping pong ball rises in a Hold on a second, Alex. Do you not, did you not agree earlier when a ping pong ball is in a cup and you fill the cup with water, it rises up because of buoyancy? The same reason why helium rises up when, uh, uh, you know, in, in the okay. denser atmosphere and of oxygen when, and when nitrogen. We see, when we see this phenomenon of buoyancy, what we did to be able to see the phenomena was we manipulated the density of the medium. That is actually our argument, though. Catch up. The Earth's not a ball. Let it go. What is the density of helium? <laughs> Less is in the surrounding air, and you need to pay attention to the point of the well, conversation. I know, but my problem is I'm trying to figure out why does the density of helium make it go up? Why doesn't it make it go down? Well, when something's less dense it's going to immediately have pressure mediation take place. I understand that, but why would, but why would something being less dense or more dense affect its direction? On which well, it there are what we would do as scientifically viable intellects that you guys seem to not fully grasp the idea of. You would address what you know for a fact, right? So what you start with is what you know for a fact is there and you can prove is there. What we know for a fact is that when you manipulate the density of a medium the object's in, it can change its directionality. What we know for a fact is that every single thing that exists is electrostatic. What we know for a fact is that manipulating electrostatics can also affect direction. So if there is intrinsically electrostatics there, it is a part of the phenomena we need to address if we're going to be efficient and scientific. And of course, also, we have... Again, the primary factor of the density of the object relative to the density of the medium because we can demonstrate this by varying the density of the medium and showing it changes direction. Now, you are trying to make an additional claim. Then trying to ask me to fill the void of that additional claim when you haven't even addressed the real variables at play yet. Welcome to Flat Earth. I'm sorry. I, you lost me with, like, electrodynamics and, like, what, like... You you managed to say every. You managed to say so much. You'd be a, you'd be a great politician in, in a sense that you'd be able to say so much stuff without actually answering the question. Want to know what why this is happening? I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't yeah, know what is happening. Wait, I wait, know your point is you don't know why it's happening. You have no I'm evidence you, why it's happening. And when I'm addressing no, why it's happening, I'm, I'm addressing you. No, I'm, I'm asking I'm you, though. I'm asking you, though. Because asking when, you you combi though. when you combine the factors of the intrinsic electrostatic of the matter and a factor of the density of the matter relative to the density of the medium it's in, then you will have the effect or phenomena, what the naturally it? occurring observable phenomena of things going down. They also go up, though. What it's them finding their equilibrium, That's pressure why? mediation. Well, electrostatics affects pressure. Does electrostatics pr affects pressure, and we know that when things are finding their equilibrium, it's pressure mediation. We also know the density of the object, the density of the medium affects pressure mediation. I have addressed the why way more efficiently than your side ever will. You've had to add a question to the why because the why. Wait, I'm almost done. You've had to add a question to the why because the why has extended into a bigger claim with the globe Earth and the flat Earth, where it also has to explain omnidirectionality on the surface, how you're sticking to the surface. There has to be I something else. I just want to else. know why an object goes down versus a different. Do you acknowledge that the, that the why is different on a flat Earth and a globe Earth? I just want to know why it's happening in general. I don't. I don't. Do I don't, you, I don't really. No, yeah, I don't care. Listen. No, okay. Listen. What's said. I don't really care what, what what the shape of the Earth or, or at the current moment right now. I just want to know why an object goes down versus up. Do you, acknowledge, do you acknowledge the why something goes up and down? Do you acknowledge that the up and down is different on a flat Earth and a globe Earth? Well, 
I would acknowledge that, but again, I do not see how that how well, that this is very relevant because that means we have two uh, means we have two paths to go here, and it is, so you need to understand our two paths before but I we start know, on the path, and then you start Alex. conflating the two paths again out of ignorance. Why are you with Alex? Me? Please, What's up? Alex, Witzer explained it to you. He said directionality is about the medium you exist in, depending on the physical objects. And its density gives it its direction. So if it's light, it will rise. If it's heavy, it will fall. Yes, but I understand what I is will, happening. I will, but I, I don't. I fail to see you, how you know what, something being more dense automatically means it's going to go down. Does your failure to see it make I the earth a ball with gravity pulling it in all directions? Hey, Witz, do you know when you I were just, at the White House in front of there that Joe Biden was looking out the window at you? I uh, did. I heard it through the grapevine that when you were no. out there right in front of the. That's pretty funny. Dave, we just missed uh, Joe Biden and Kamal Harris at the Cherry Festival. Crazy. We, I didn't even know they were there or anything, but we just got to the Cherry Festival. It's a big deal. We're going to go out today. And they were here a few days ago. So you guys, it's, it's no big deal. They lied about the earth, man. Okay, uh, I can cite right now for you the highest uh, universities you want, and they can't explain the magnetic field, right? But if you if you look at a magnetic field, it has a dielectric plane. It has a plane in it. Well, that's where we are, and we experience this, this magnetic field encompassing us, right? And everything is electrostatic. And electrostatics, that's part of why something seeks its equilibrium, when you take a balloon and rub it on your head, it'll stick to the wall. Based on its charge, as the charge goes down, it goes back down to the dielectric, to the electrostatic plane, right? It's so that's shape, very, it's very simple. It's very simple. Like density is the primary cause. Why do we know that? Because we can prove it because we can manipulate the density of the medium and the direction will change. Yeah. We don't need to make additional claims well, about magic fairy tales of the Earth spinning around in a vacuum and being a sphere where we need gravity pulling us down. That's brought to you by Jesuits. It's a lie. It isn't true. Yeah. Well, what's yeah. that? well, hold on. Hey, oh, what's that? I have a question about the helium balloon, though. But the problem is that when you rub a set, when you create static electricity with the helium balloon, it doesn't immediately go straight towards you because of that. It sticks to you. But if you push the helium balloon away, it's still going to act on the same principal properties. I mean, is what you're talking about right there is a static electricity. It's caused by the outside of the balloon, not necessarily because of the helium. It's an external. Well, are you saying the helium isn't electrostatic? I'm saying that I'm, I'm saying what's causing it to stick to you isn't the helium. Okay, it's the electrostatics. Yes, caused by the rubber of the balloon, not because of the helium. Okay, because which this can be neutralized. helium contained, which is when we can have it. So the point is that the helium is less dense than the air and it goes up and i didn't i wasn't talking about a helium balloon sticking to the wall right so oh, no. i said it goes down after that so but anyway so the helium balloon goes up because the helium inside the container which is the only way you can have gas is lighter than the surrounding air dude but the problem is what is caught I, I like I understand like you're saying like you're saying that because this object is less dense than the than the air that is causing it out. But I just I just fail to exceed. I just I honestly don't think you guys understand it, and so you have to like try to attack me, right? So so I gravity, understand it well enough to know that you don't know what you're talking about. No, you have to. No, you guys don't know anything. You have to define weights, okay? W equals mg according to you. That's your definition of weight. That's your causal claim of weight. That's what weight is. That's what you say it is. W equals mg, right? Right? Well, right. weight, weight, force, weight is correct. weight is the pressure mediated, right? And we weigh things, and we can weigh ourselves, right? But you're defining weight by invoking gravity, which is a theory. Now, what I'm saying is, we know that when you weigh yourself, when you weigh another object, both yourself and the other object are electrostatic, objectively, and we both know they have a density, right? And that what direction they go is relative to the medium that they're in. But For you not to get all materials are are electrostatic and, and definitely even the ones that are electrostatic don't have to be having a charge at that moment all right like what can, material what material it. isn't what matter isn't electrostatic well there's name metals one. that aren't name I one think, i think cotton is, is not Man, all metals of, are and there's, and there's, there's a bunch well, of them right? that there's a bunch of them that like to hold on to their electrons but all I, metals I are I don't, I don't i don't know which materials i don't know which materials they don't uh, exist 
they don't exist. Cotton pickers are <laughs> neutral. There are there are pretty much neutral ones. There's not one single the point, the point piece is, of matter that exists. The point is, if you rub like if you rub a rubber on, say, like your hair, for example, you're talking about a balloon. Rubber's rub electrostatic. Rub, if you if you, will you shut your mouth, if you rub rubber on your hair, right, there's going to be uh, uh, one material is going to give up electrons. The other material is going to grab electrons. That creates is the rubber electrostatic. That creates the electrostatic uh, force, right? But okay. then you can neutralize that, right? Like everybody, everybody that's ever drugged their feet on carpet and then touched the doorknob knows you can neutralize an electrostatic. So force. you agree? There's not one piece of matter that isn't electrostatic. Well, considering that it's just giving up electrons, probably you, you probably could invoke an electrostatic force between like. So every forces. piece of matter that exists in existence itself is electrostatic. I, I guess so. It doesn't really help your point in any kind of way. Well, if everything that exists is electrostatic, if we're going to explain the phenomena of what direction they go or their weights, if you're going to use an electrostatic force, if you're going to use an electrostatic force to explain the preferred direction, then you have to say that there's always a a non neutralized force, right? There's under all, there would always have to be like one thing that has more electrons than the other thing that has less electrons so that they're attracted that way. That's what electrostatic If everything's is. electrostatic in the world that has ever existed and you can't isolate and control the variable of electrostatic... No, but you can't no, you can't, no, but you can't isolate. That's what I was saying earlier. It's always there. You make it, you make it out of the right make it out of the right materials that are more neutral electrostatically, number one. And number two, you, you make sure it's grounded. Make sure that... So, it's so grounding an object makes it not electrostatic? Is that your claim? Well, it may, it's not that it's not electrostatic. It's that there's no elect, electrostatic force being applied to it at that moment because there's no. It, it there's means no, it has a neutral, neutral charge. charge. It's, it's electrostatically yeah. neutral, neutral charge. It's a neutral okay. charge. There's oh, no, yeah. there's no yeah. imbalance. Yeah. In, but there's no imbalance yeah. in the electrons. So you've weakened no the elect. So you've weakened the electrostatic force, but you did not eliminate it. No, you neutralized there. it. No, yeah, but, but here's the problem. No matter how strong or how weak it is, it still falls at the same. But it's, 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 it's neutral. It still it's always super falls super at the weak. same rate. It's super, it's super weak. And actually, that's not true because there's certain pieces of matter you can make go up with electrostatics. So the point is that it's just super weak. But on the smallest scale, the, you know, you can only actually prove electrostatics is everywhere. That's just a fact. What you can't can you ever make, prove what, gravity what can is anywhere. When you say go up. I'm almost done. On electrostatics on the smallest Hold scale. Hold on, you need to explain what you mean by go up. You can make yeah, things something, go up by something. electrostatics. What are you yeah, you could, like a Van de Graaff generator, you can introduce electrostatic charge, and certain pieces, like a piece of paper or something, will actually go up. That's not going up. You're That's the about, hair pushing off your head. Yeah, you're talking but about it's the... in a Van de Graaff generator. You're talking about the. You're talking about a force, the electrostatic force that's being generated between the the negative side and the positive side. That's what you're talking about. That's what's causing that upward motion. So what we know is that things can go up based on electrostatics. Yeah, but once oh. they new, but once they neutralize, what happens? Uh, like, helium. helium let's, goes let's, up. let's let's put let's put me let's put me inside of like an airproof container that's falling out of the sky, and let's see if electrostatics still works. Of course it does. Of course, my hair is going to still go up, but Dude, I'm still, my hair is still going to be falling. Okay, still, get, you understand my point? My no, hair not. and me and the balloon and everything is still going to be falling down to the ground. Yeah, but ground. you're asking why does it fall down, and I'm saying, well, if you don't even address that, everything there is electrostatic. So that means the but that's what I'm saying. There's a separate, falling. there's a that separate means, thing that's pulling oh me gosh. and the whole container down, while no, the, this electrostatic wrong. force is causing wrong. my hair to go up. That's okay, just a, listen, that's just a false claim that you have no of, evidence for. So you have to admit false claim. You have to prove that you have to. You have to interrupt everything. every time. You have you to have interrupt to every time, dude. Yes. That's how well, you know I, you're I, lying. You're correct. I have to interrupt whenever you're wrong. That's, That's how correct. we know you're lying. <laughs> That's how this whole room well, works. Well, That's that. how this room's okay, been working so for years. Electrostatics is always there. And so we know that electrostatics can affect direction. And if you do not, this is objective. No one cares what you mental midgets think about it. Electrostatics. Hey, stop what, interrupting. It, you're just, stop interrupting. No, you're just stop doing word salad. It doesn't there has matter to be what you think about it. Electrostatics is there and can affect directionality, and you had to admit after lying and being blatantly wrong that there were things that weren't electrostatic. Now we know everything that exists is electrostatic, so and if you, and had. on the and on the smallest scale, it's ten to the 39th power stronger than gravity even claims to be on the smallest scale, and you can never get rid of it. 
You cannot make a claim about gravity, you psychopaths. You have no evidence for it, but we do have evidence for the electrostatics. You're well, trying to say, you're trying to say, no, that's not good enough when it's a thousand times better than gravity because it actually can be isolated and proven to be a real uh, thing. You guys are absolutely. But the problem psychopaths. is, but the problem is uh, that the thing that you're saying like causes this. There, it's, I don't. I fail to see why does it. Why does yeah, it favor going wild. downwards? This is wild. I fail to see why it goes downwards. Well, uh, you got, it's, you it's, also, it's also it's also makes it how you get to interrupt everybody and you get to talk what? over everybody and then your boy will just mute the people that are having a conversation. No, you interrupted me like That's five hilarious. times. You no, me five times I, I, I did not. That is yeah, how the did. room works. How it's always worked for years. It's how it's always worked. If 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 people you are, are if you're gonna say if you're gonna make something that's a blatantly false claim and you're gonna make five of them in a row, then somebody's gonna interrupt you. All that's right, well, how I'm all, all conversations in, really in human go, life right. work. You you're can't just like say something that's wrong and then not expect somebody to respond to that. That's are ridiculous. you mad at us, not a ball? Because that's not our no, fault. I, I'm, I'm, actually just, I'm actually just pointing at the clown in the corner and laughing. Oh, that's ironically, the that's why clown Schooled you, where he said objectively you had no, to. No, the clown didn't school you. As I was destroying you, your boy had to had to mute me. That's 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 where the only just, way. The only way you can win is with censorship. In actually, the you try to censor me like you just did by over talking me, right? And you lost objectively. You first said that there were pieces of matter that weren't electrostatic. There are pieces of matter that aren't electrostatic, or they're uh, electrostatically neutral by nature. Yes. Uh, that's so correct. now you're going back to there are, so they are still electrostatic. Yes, uh, everything's electrostatic. If you take electrons from something, everything's electrostatic, but there's matter that there. exists that's not electrostatic. Wait, hold on. There's hold on, matter on, that exists that? that tends to be electrostatically neutral. Yeah, it has a hard time okay, giving so up. Can I electrons. finish my that's recollection great. before I got here? So you first said that there was matter that wasn't electrostatic, then you admitted that everything is electrostatic. There and are I some said, metals that are electrostatically neutral, yes. that That's for sure. Yeah, that's true. All things that exist are electrostatic. And I told you that. If you take their electrons, if you take something's electrons, yes, that's true. But it's hard to take electrons from some materials, which is why they're considered to be electrostatically neutral. Okay, can you stop? Why they're used in in some in some material? You're asking me a question. I'm responding to. No, I'm not. You're asking what materials are electrostatically neutral. I'm telling you, I'm not. not, You want me to go Google them? You want me to go Google which uh, metals it is? You're interrupting me, recollecting what happened. That's what's happening. I'm asking you questions. So watch, you'll interrupt again. So first you said that not all matter was electrostatic, and then you agreed that everything is electrostatic. Now, electrostatic on I the small scale. I generalized, correct. I, I generalized. Question, I, I guess it wasn't question, when you, exactly what, perfectly told you guys, I, told, I told you guys. What's that? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to point out something that, that, that is a major flaw. A major flaw. Oh, but really do not you agree I should be allowed to not, finish what I was not, saying not, first? N- no, I, I don't I, agree. I, well, I'm, just, I'm, do, I'm, just gonna, I'm just going to make this one simple point, okay? When you're saying something is electrostatic, okay? Do you agree? The problem with this is that you're saying that everything is electrostatic. Well, if you actually apply that to reality and what that means, that means you probably could never touch a computer circuit board because you could probably potentially damage it, damage its circuitry. The only uh... way you could do it is you would have like some sort of like with your bare hands. I mean, which you need to do in order to able to build a computer. So this entire point of like, oh, everything. Is a, everything has to have some sort of electromagnetism? I think that's what you're saying in order no. for it to stay to the ground. Uh, okay, no. then your circuit board is also electrostatic. Don't don't make the mistake of it, it, I, I understand it has the ability to be electrostatic, but it doesn't have any. Yeah, it's, it's you're not, not. It's not. It's not helping your point at all to say things are electrostatic. Everybody knows things are electrostatic. Okay, well it's that's why you guys down. have to keep interrupting then, so you don't get the to hear problem, my point. Is that why? Dude, it's the, so the height of irony saying... that you keep interrupting people and then complaining. No, no, there's yeah, five well, people. You just did it as I was talking. Good job. Because yeah, I could tell when you were about to be finished just saying useless things. So but I wasn't finished. We agree. We, 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 so you, you had to have you, had, over over. you reluctantly watch. You will, you will interrupt me again this time. One hundred percent. I'm interrupting you right now. See, he and can't I'll do, do it, it again, and I'll keep yeah. doing it. Okay, you so know you why? said because, that not every- because you're a bitch and you keep complaining about people interrupting you when you're interrupting everybody else. That's why. So you you said want to actually have an adult conversation. Let people talk. Let people get their point out. But you don't do that. So I'm going to interrupt you because you interrupt everybody else. That's how it works, dude. It really is. So you, you said you not everything. You whine about it. So you said not everything that exists is electrostatic. Then you agree that everything is electrostatic. Electrostatics on the yeah, smallest. Yeah, I, I misspoke there. I already agreed. I misspoke. Okay, what I meant to say is that 
there are materials that are electrostatically neutral. That's what I meant to say, and I corrected that already. Now, we can go past that because I've already conceded your point that I misspoke, and now what I meant to say was some materials are electrostatically neutral by nature. Electrostatics on the small scale is known to be 10 to the 39th power stronger than gravity even claims to be. We know it's always present, and it's overall a very weak force, but it's always present. And we also know that it's 10 to the 39th power stronger than gravity even claims to be on the small scale, although it is a weak force itself. Okay. And so you okay. can't make an additional claim about gravity being isolated inside that if you don't control the variable that we know is there and can objectively affect directionality. But we can control that variable. We, we can make things electrostatically neutral. So did you get rid of it to isolate gravity? That's how they did the Cavendish experiment. They got rid of electrostatics. <laughs> they didn't get rid of electrostatics. It's like saying we're getting rid of physics. You can't get rid of physics. But they made it electrostatically neutral. Okay, okay, so, so Dax was there. Cool. Okay, what's that? Uh, I, I've analyzed, I've, I put down, I've written down what you said in, uh, in pain, okay? If you're in my live stream, okay? Correct me if I'm, correct me if I got anything wrong of what you're saying causes this, okay? Uh, for what you're explaining, okay? The thesis is, why do objects fall towards Earth, okay? Object, and then you, you're saying the reason why is because objects rise and fall because of its density, and then I then the question is why does this cause that? And then you say because of electrostaticism or electromagnetism. I'm I'm not sure which one you were you're referring to, but okay. So that's that's the way that you. It's very telling. That's how you have viewed the conversation psychologically, right? Because what I actually did was say, well, we can start by accurately addressing the phenomena with the variables we know to be there, which is that if you manipulate the density of a medium, things will go up or down relative to that manipulation. Yes, so the uh, density, relative density, is a primary causal agent, as well as we also know the fact that electrostatics is present in every piece of matter that exists, and that electrostatics can affect directionality. These are the two pieces of phenomena we have to go off that we know are objective, and we also know that on the smallest scale, electrostatics is 10 to the 39th power stronger than gravity even claims to be. There is no need for gravity until you invoke the need to explain yeah. something called gravity, even... which is what the ball earth presupposition makes you do. I'm not believing that we live on a fairy tale ball earth. I know it's not real. I don't make up answers to fill the questions you have to answer. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about what's objective, bro. I understand what's objective. Okay, listen asking you why something is happening i understand what is happening i want to know the why that this is happening okay so the question is why do objects fall towards earth you're saying objects rise and fall because of its density correct and that reason is because of its electrostaticism. no no that's correct? a straw man man that's a straw oh, oh, no. i i'm i'm well I'm asking you what it is, so I don't think I'm strong. Oh, no, I know. I hear you. Yeah, you're right. But but I'm, I just explained why it's a strong man. I didn't say that the the reason things go down is because of density, and that is because of electrostatics. I never said that. What I said is that the density of an object and its relationship with the density of the medium it's in can make it go up or down. It will change its direction. Just that's just okay, objective but... fact of life. We also know that when this happens yes. every single time in all observable phenomena ever that we have accessible to look at and to study and try to figure out, which is what you claim you're doing, then we know that that medium and that object and the Earth that it does fall to at times are all electrostatic. I, we, we under, okay, listen, I understand I didn't say because that that's what's of, happening. I, I understand that's what's happening here, but I want to know why this is happening. Why do these things cause objects to fall? Well, electrostatics affects pressure mediation, and when things go up or down, that's pressure being mediated as the object is trying to find its equilibrium. Yeah, but why do okay, but why does an object have to go down towards the earth in order to find its equilibrium? Why does it not have well, to go not up? Well, not all objects go down. Not all objects I'm, go down. But... Okay. How about the majority of objects? The majority of uh, objects. Why okay. do the majority of objects fall down to find its equilibrium? Because they're more dense than the air, and because where they're falling to is the bottom of everything. The matter, the compilation what, of matter, exists, mean, the electrostatic the, earth. But, but, why, but why are these things falling to begin with? What's, why, why can't they find their equilibrium, or why isn't the staticism, or wh whatever the reason you're giving, why doesn't it cause it to go left, right, or up? And, 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 yeah. and another, que and another question, why, what does bottom even mean? 
you know, mean to you? I'm very curious. It's, yeah, everything's above it. Electro, what do you mean by forces? above? Everything we observe is higher than the surface of the Earth. Yeah, but what is at the very least, there would need. Everything we observe is higher than the surface of the Earth. Uh, that's not yeah. True. Okay, enlighten me. Okay. With it, the way I understand Go in it, any it, tunnel it, or any cave, there's things underneath yeah, the surface right. of the earth. What are you talking about? Okay, I mean, the, the how far fact. we can go down in matter the top fact, of the air. As a matter of fact, there's air in caves underneath the surface of the earth. Uh, okay, the okay, so yeah, I mean, this line of uh, inquiry, this line of inquiry is based off of nothing being established, like what establishes up and down, what establishes that, what establishes that. It leads to a bunch of infinite regression. At the very least, something needs to be established as up and down, and we can go from there. But if we just keep going with an infinite regression, we're not going to establish anything or even well, be able to think? think scientifically. And you guys aren't even being honest different. And you guys aren't even honest enough to admit it's different on a globe Earth and a flat Earth. That should be the first thing we talk about as honest people. It's like, well, if we're going to explain it on a globe Earth, they would have to answer these questions. If we're going to explain it on a flat Earth, they have to answer these questions. On the flat Earth, well, it's geocentric stationary plane. So the Earth is placed here, up and down with set. There's the plane Earth, which is the bottom, a horizontal plane. And there are hmm. things above it that we experience. There's natural up and there's natural down. A, down is not relative to the center of, the, of, a, or of a ball, right? So there are two different things. Everybody recognizes and agrees. I mean, everybody either flirts I was gonna or, say, yeah, or I don't see... agrees there's an up and down. Nope, right, that. but I don't see a but problem. It's different with, on a globe uh, Earth than it is a flat Earth. No, it's I not. don't see a problem with flat Earth incorporating. Yes, it or, or, is. Or, or, Sorry, I don't want to interrupt this other guy, but this guy isn't. It, yes, it grim. is. Just... It's objectively different on. I I'll, 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 I want to let you talk, but this guy, you need to admit, be honest. Sorry. It's objectively different on a globe Earth and a flat Earth. Up the, and down the, are different. The cause is different, and the ultimate behavior is different, but. The, okay, so they're different. The, okay. the observation ahead, is the observation is the same. You walk, you, cool. yeah, you hold a plumb different. bob. You hold a plumb bob in front of you, and the direction that the, the line makes from your hand to the to that plumb bob is down. The phenomenon of down is different on a globe Earth flyer. Thanks for your concession, Graham. Go ahead. Well, I never, yeah, I, I never, dis I never disagreed that there was different things. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that they can go both ways. It's funny like, how you keep have to be you keep acting like you're winning. No, what I said was the, you keep acting like you're like winning, 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 winning yeah. about stuff that we all agree. agree I'm not with. acting like no, I'm winning because my point like was that we losing. should all he's agree on winning. that. My point was that I said that at the beginning of a or conversation, losing. if we're being honest, what we would do is, well, okay, if we're trying to explain why something goes down, we would know that, well, if it's happening on a globe, this is what it has to explain. And this is what I have to explain on flat Earth. They're different things. To try to conflate them and explain the phenomena is dumb and inefficient, right? So we need to address which one we're explaining on. Now, you're wanting us to explain it on a flat Earth. Let's be honest. You're trying to get me to explain it on a flat Earth. Well, well, since it's different, then we'll have to address it on a flat Earth. Because if we don't, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, and all I'm saying is that that's where you should focus on. That's then, the truest thing you you've said all position. day. That you make no sense. I totally agree with that. You need to absorb your position Come honestly. On. And so, on a flat Earth, the Earth is flat. It's everything's above it. It's a plane. There's, of course, up and down relative to the perpendicular plane underneath you. That was naturally well, set. Earth geocentric and was created. Nobody, nobody disagrees with that. What's it? What are you arguing? Who are you arguing? Yeah, that created? goes across the board on both flat Earth. You're and arguing with yourself Earth. right now, bro. Oh, you guys agree that Earth is geocentric. And, one. You guys agree that Earth is geocentric and created, and that there's a natural up and down on a plain Earth. That's the part well, we don't agree. It's the only part. Well, right? that's what I, mean, I was saying. The, so. I know. Well, I know. That's, we gotta, that's not what you're saying. That's not what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, no, the observations are the same, flat Earth or round Earth. The density tower is going to work the same, flat Earth or round Earth. The yeah. centrifugal force on the lazy Susan table is going to work the same, flat Earth or round Earth. So what we do is we talk about, well, what other ways can we get this density tower to line up? And we'll use a force stronger than the force we're uh, concluding that it's gravity. So we'll just use centrifugal force. We'll lay down the density tower on its side and spin it around on a lazy is he Susan and see if it's a medium change or a force change. And we see that it's a force that lines these things up. That doesn't prove so there is that force of the conclude, globe Earth. I, it doesn't prove it, I know, but it does line it up logically in a conclusionary fashion for you that, that shows you a, 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 a logical step in process to, to, that you do need a force to align up no, these no. Uh, densities. That's all I'm no, saying. F flat Earth, flat Earth doesn't that. deny that force introduced can affect equilibrium. No, being sought. No, no one ever denied that. So, yeah, if you introduce a force, it will affect pressure mediation, of course. But the, trying you're to trying to say that it's equivalent instead of argue. I know, but it's a crucial no, no. difference in the conversation, Mike. No, no, I, 
I, I'm just saying because where we get with you is a lot further than people who take this argument and don't understand it as well as you do, right? So we end up with there is no force or there is no blah, 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 or forces don't do anything. And you know what I mean? And we're, we're, we're showing it. There's a logical procession of, of how of yeah, the, yeah. And the logic can I line agree. up these right. things. It yeah. can. That's right. You said it better. That's how. It can, right? Okay, yeah, it can. And Correct. then the logical progression that, of that would be what acknowledge what forces are there then that we can prove. It's well, not, we can prove electrostatics it's it's is not there, so we know it's affecting it. No, no, no. And gravity is just a fairy tale. Hold on. It's not that it can. It's that the <laughs> definition <laughs> of what a force is is what you're observing. Like, you're literally observing the thing that we have named force. And you're saying it's uh, not. Oh, so a since force. you named it, that made the theory real. Uh, there's an observation that we see and we name it force. Yeah. You can put a name on any observation you no, want. No, that's like, no. The acceleration like, is the effect. I can look at a rose and I can say, I'm observing a rose, right? And somebody else can look at that rose and call it a different thing. When you, you observe acceleration, it, you're but observing the, physical the effect thing is of still a rose. But when and you observe you're, acceleration, now you're interrupting me. So your hypocritical standards no, are now man. being called out here. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Whenever you interrupt people, to both don't of you. Uh, expect that other people to interrupt you, okay? okay so what well, I'm trying to say is topic, we though, both, we both observe the same observation, and then we, we say, okay, what are we going to call this thing so we can have a common language? Okay, we'll call this thing that we're observing a force, okay? And now you're looking over here, and you're saying, but this force, the thing that we've already named, this observation we've already named, this one is not a force. It doesn't exist. Yeah. Okay, so what you're sense. actually doing, what you're actually doing is you're saying, look at downward acceleration, right? And that's actually the effect of the cause of force, according to you. And you're trying to identify that force. No, yeah, you're acceleration looking, is yeah, you're physically force. looking at acceleration is not force; it's a result of it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so you're looking at the effect, the result of this mm -hmm. force you're trying to prove. And now you're saying, look at the effect that proves my cause. When we see acceleration, it's due uh, to force. That, that That is the truth. By that, that is what, that is what saying, the definition is. Uh, you, you're saying, you look at the effect saying, that proves though, right? my cause. Bro. You hear what he's saying. He's locked in the position where I'm locked in as to the cause of the force. Like This is what I've been talking about for 10 years. Not... Not that there yeah, is Yeah, exactly. Force. Exactly. But Me and Grim actually might force. disagree. I'll, I'll call it gravity, and he'll, and he'll call it uh, the electric universe, you know? And, well, that's why I objectively win, and though. We can have – me and Grim can have a disagreement, an honest disagreement on, on like, what we think is causing that force. But we're not going to disagree that there's a force there. But do you know what the problem force. is? The reason it's, the reason it's relevant to Flat Earth at that point is because it has to be different than just electrostatics on a globe Earth. Because well, electrostatics – Electrostatics cause forces. Well, just that is a force, but it, it, it is a force, but it is different on a globe Earth and a flat Earth because on a globe Earth, electrostatics would be too weak out on the planetary scale to make things revolve around one another. So there has to be an additional force there, and I that is Grim called gravity. I would disagree with you on that. But... I know. Electrostatics has to interact with other electrostatics before it's actually a force. It has to, there has to be a potential difference to a change of motion uh, of a field. There's no change. I mean, there's actually dude, a dude, lot. Dude, of if the Earth's a ball and it's electrostatic, it would not be the cause of planetary movement. That is why we have come up with gravity because electro electrostatics alone is too weak to have these giant masses revolving each other. There has to be something much stronger on the planetary scale. That's the actual argument. It's that on the, elect on the smallest scale, yeah, electrostatics is present. We can actually prove it. Well, electromagnetic force is But on the much bigger scale, gravity Wait, is way stronger. That's, the, that's your argument, man. No, you I want to get some, no, get some clarity. I want to get some clarity from you changed. because, because I, I don't think that anybody thinks that <laughs> Ele the electromagnetic force is weaker than gravity. As a matter of fact, gravity is the weakest. Now you're conflating electromagnetic forces. and electrostatics. Well, they're the same. No, he's what he's saying is no, yeah, something electrical. Is, considering in the cosmological scale, we deem there not to be enough material in between these bodies to interact in an electrostatic way that would, you know, um, be sufficient to overcome gravity. I think that's what he's saying. Not that it's a weaker force. It's obviously. 10 to the 36th order power, uh, you know, stronger, the electric. Yeah, force. I mean, that's what I think conventional cosmology thinks. Electrostatics so, is 10 I to the 39th power stronger. And yeah, the, you would, as electric the universe, the universe isn't going to invoke electrostatics, man. They're going to invoke electromagnetism. And they're going to have to say, for, for you to propose electric universe with the globe Earth, right, with the heliocentric model, you have to invoke electromagnetism within a medium. 
that's in between the objects that is right. allowing it. Right. Okay. That's different than electrostatics, that's bro, correct. because way the electrostatics different. is way too weak. Right. Electromagnetism can be very strong dependent upon the medium, for example. So you can come yeah, up with a theory not complex for the electric enough. universe. Yeah, the plasma so, physics so, is a lot more complex than electrostatics. You're right. That's and that's yeah, what's so, necessary. It, and well, it gravity explain comes from it. this. Um, uh, gravity comes from this framework where you need a force to pull like gravity toward the center, and that's where you get the ball. But if you're thinking about electrostatics or electromagnetics or something electrical, you're thinking of a fluid that's flowing and taking things within its current and its wake. That opens up more options than just this pullity force to the center of a ball. So there appears to be much more options with something electrostatic, electromagnetic, ether, some sort of... A background fluid of space that's Just flowing and leading I just want to make this very me. clear. It's very important to understand the distinction. Electrostatics is 100% not a viable option to explain mm -hmm. the Earth being a ball moving around in a heliocentric model. It's 1 million percent a, a not viable. That's why no one ever even proposed it. It's just not viable. Well, well a Z-pinch is, is viable, right? Because in a Z-pinch, that um, all the material that's drawn into the plasma uh, – current is pressed into a spherical object that you can you, see it in right if you so see, you see, you the, see the, the logical on a sorry. can if you see a, there's a video on youtube called a bennett pinch or z pinch and they they do it on a, an aluminum can and then you look at the aluminum can and it's done and there's a, a sphere in the middle of the aluminum can where it's pressed everything down into a okay so if yeah. you look at if you look at the logical procession of the argument here it is that on the local scale that can be verified electrostatics is known to be there and it's 10 to the 39th power stronger than gravity on the smallest scale and we can't get rid of it now we do know also though that it's too weak to explain the planetary movement of spherical bodies in a heliocentric model so it's not viable so we must ignore this <laughs> and assume we must ignore this and assume that there is something much stronger at play but it's on a it scales up to explain well, that's what, the, the, that's what the electric universe movement. is about. I mean, that's what the electric oh, okay, universe is about. Okay, but my point as a flat earther is that, well, what we know there for, for acceleration, within acceleration down to the plain Earth is electrostatics is at play, yet it doesn't work for the globe Earth, and that's why you have to address honestly that they're two different things, right? It's a very simple progression of logic here. It, you have to address the two different conversations because electrostatics works for one and not the other. You don't understand what we're saying. Well, we're, we're saying that the yeah. root cause of that force is different based on these different theories, like the electric universe versus uh, special electric universe is wrong because it's trying to explain a global model that the, doesn't the flat exist. Earth density tower uh, theory. All these have different explanations for what causes the force, but no one should deny that there is a force. The problem is, electric universe is going to have to eventually address the medium that's there. And that also throws out the heliocentric model because of observations like Michael he's, Morley. He's missing the point. He, he's completely you know, you're missing the point that it's well, different uh, on a globe earth and flat earth. We're just trying to get you to acknowledge I gotta go. go. Let me just. Let, I gotta go. Let, let me yeah, say this. We're not Mike, debunking. I, I understand your axiom of you know force equals mass times acceleration. I understand it. I know. I understand this conversation very well, bro. That's why I'm not a globe yeah. earther. So the Earth's electrostatic, man. It's just not strong enough to cause planetary movement. So you can't use electrostatics. You would have to say electric universe, there's a medium that's very dense in between you and the object, and then there's electromagnetism or something to that effect. The medium or, would have to be the interaction. Take a breath for a second. We could also say that there are uh, uh, Birkeland currents in that medium that the medium doesn't have to be homogenous. All there has to be is a tube connecting. It's like a circuit, a tube of plasma. Have you, you've seen a plasma ball at Spencer's, you know, how they have the little tubes, of the, the, the little filaments, and they go all the way out to the glass? Well, that's what's happening from the Earth to the sun and back. We have those. They're not all lit up like those are, but they've been measured, and they can see that they actually exist. They're there. They call them magnetic tubes. But see, any circuit theorist or plasma physicist knows there's no such thing as a magnetic tube without its causal electric current in the plasma. That's what causes a magnetic tube is an electric current, the movement of, in the plasma. So well, we all agree that there current, is a point. So it's a strong electric current is my point. It's not static. Yeah, but so that's you're, my you're, point, right? You're, like you're, you're accidentally strawmanning. Yeah, yeah, you're not doing it on purpose, but you keep you keep ruling it out so easily that it can't be any of this electric stuff. No, 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 no. I, I'm not saying it can't be any of the electric stuff. 
I'm saying the only way you can even pretend to propose a heliocentric model is to use electricity. It's the only way. The only way. Uh -huh. But well, what I'm saying is that okay, what we absolutely. have observable is electrostatics because the question is why do things fall down then? You, basically what they say is, look, these, these are spherical planets revolving around each other or why do things fall down then? That's the actual they, argument in 2021. Right? Well, things fall down on the Earth to the Earth because everything's electrostatic and the density of it. Electrostatics isn't strong enough though to explain the other right. thing. So you're conflating what if it these comes out? What if it comes to be like, you're, like a mixture of both? Like what if it comes out, which I'm feeling like it's going to relatively soon, um, that a unified theory is going to pop up and it's going to be sca a scalable electric feeling, uh, 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 scaling. Uh, Maxwell field equations are going to apply probably with a couple tensor adjustments to the nano scale. And uh, you're going to see that, um, you know, this, uh, what we're calling gravity is actually from the ashes of an electrical system that we are in. And it's um, acting on the subatomic particles that we don't even understand right now in the daisy chain effect. Like um, like the way we would hold magnets and one magnet connected to another are you holding a magnet and then you pick up a line of nails. And that would be like a daisy chain effect where each nail is now magnetized and, da -da -da -da, and that would happen throughout all the materials on the planet up to a particular altitude. And that would just that would show uh, gravity. And then on, beyond that, there's there's a threshold where it would then be a repulsive force and on the other side. And I think that's important to understand, too, and that would keep the. The, you know, in a in a system, electrical system, to keep the bodies that are like charged from bumping into each other once they got too close. Oh, my man, you have to understand, I'm not other. arguing against electric universe. I'm not uh, arguing against the viability of the globe Earth with electric universe. It's the only one that's even resembling possibility, right? But I'm saying, like, that's the Earth isn't a ball, though. It, but, but what we do know is that when you go into the argument and you say, look, gravity causes planets to go around the Earth or to go around the sun. And then you say, how do we know that? Well, look, things fall down. And then you shift the burden over and say, explain how things fall down. And and then even when done, you still I'm ignore you, it. Bro. And I'm you conflate you. that into proving that the Earth's a ball with plants spinning around it is insanity. And then when you get into the specifics of it, electrostatics is way weaker. And in fact, that's why it was ignored. So we know it's there. It's perfect. It's, it explains the phenomena it's perfect not. on the Earth. But it doesn't explain planets. I got to uh, go, though. Pizza. Just, uh, hold on, you're wrong on that too, because like I said last time you tried to bring up this dumb shit, is that diamagnetic elements ha exist, and you still have no explanation for why they also go down. Uh, well, we agree that there's a force, we no, just don't it, know what the saying... source of the force is, whether yeah. it's the object itself and or the well, space that's... around the fo uh, the object. Well, I mean, we spent the last hour trying to get him to agree there's a force, so I don't think that you saying that we agree there's a force. No, you just don't understand. No, you still just don't understand <laughs> that it's not the same on the globe Earth and the flat Earth, and so electrostatics doesn't Dude, explain planets. And I've addressed, I've addressed electrostatics Listen, on here you need from the beginning for two straight hours. Peace out. Yeah, the source of the force is probably the medium. No way. Yeah. He has not even. Wait, no, he's not running. It got, it's got to get exhausting. Balls. I'm sure he's not running, guys, because he's here all the time, and he's, it gets exhausting. You know, when you believe in something really strongly. No, no, no. Really? He always runs away. I'm almost exhausted by.